It's ya boy Warlow back with another my team video. And 2K tweeted content like, what did I say? I said we're either getting super packs randomly today, or the content is so boring that it's not even worth tweeting about. And sadly, it was the first one. The content is so boring that it's not even worth tweeting about. So this is the content for tomorrow. What I'm hoping for would be nice. Is there a 70 decades in um in that uh and what's that thing called breakout i don't think there's a 70 portal i actually don't think there is i kind of wish there is because i mean we'll get like 70 deluxe packs if you know if they're in portals which is nice they're also going to get a 10 box as well but which is nice way you know but these cards is a bit of a snoozy i'm not gonna lie is there anybody looking forward to using these bums but we're gonna go review. We're gonna, we're gonna do. We're gonna do a review though. We're gonna review their cards. Their cards are in the game. I went and checked where to add in the collection before they released, cause so we can just re. Oh, they just. Oh, they just did now. That's even better. Even better. Well, I I, I just went through the process of looking at them, but okay, even better. But we're gonna review Artis Gilmore. He got 82 driving dunk. He might be. He might be better than Shaq Loki because you know Artis Gilmore has a way bigger player mile than Shaquille O'Neal in this game. He has 80 mid-range, 34 three-pointers, so he might be able to hit the three-pointer in this dumb game because you can make it, like, you can make freeze with, like, 30 three-point shooters. It's stupid. 80 driving dunk, 44 ball handle. That's way lower than Shaq because Shaq has an 86 ball handle. 97 block, 85 steal, only a 65 perimeter. Shaq has, like, an 83 perimeter, I think, so... Uh, I thought I thought looking at Artis Gilmore, he could potentially be better than Shaq, but man, why does Artis Gilmore when 2K fought? Oh yeah, let's just make the most boring set possible and call it a set. It, 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 69 agility. I mean, Artis Gilmore's not. I mean, he's gonna still be good because his player build, but it ain't nothing special. He's gonna have brick wall, rise up, post lockdown, paint prodigy. Post powerhouse, high flying defender, paint roller. He's just gonna be a beast in the paint, but that speed is gonna be killer. It's gonna it's 65 speed is just not acceptable at this time. Like they couldn't boost it to 78. That is my issue. I think I think this game is gonna have is they don't actually adjust some of these stats. They're gonna be left behind because they juiced up other cards. Like they would have Artis Gilmore stats should be better than what they are. In my personal opinion, they just should be. But Willis Reed, 6'10", 83 three-pointer, 90 driving dunk. I played against this card, and, Art and this Willis Reed, actually, I played with him. And this, Art this Willis Reed has a really, really, really top-end shot. Like, his shot is really good. 83 perimeter, 94 interior. Great rebounding, good speed. Good speed with ball, agility, vertical. Yeah, this card's going to be really good. Posterizer, post-lockdown. Like, a lot of y'all going to like his jumper. Brick wall, paint prodigy. Anchor, basically. Paint Roller. A aerial Wizard. Dead Eye. Off Ball Pass. Interceptor. Pogo Stick. Box Out Beast. Yeah, this card's a beast. You're going to have to give him Gold Challenger. But this card, maybe throw Flippery Off Ball Bailout. Maybe throw Hand. Move. He needs a move 100%. Shifty Shooter. But yeah, On Ball. He needs On Ball Menace. He's a lot of badges, though. That's the only thing I don't like. But once he's badged out, he's perfect. Like, Willis Reed should be good for you. Solid overall card. Paul Westfall, he is 6'4", which is nice. A lot of people do like that, but 75 driving dunk. Ew. 86 ball control, 86. Man, this set is so boring. 88 speed, 88 speed with ball. Agility, 88, 82 vertical, 50 strength. Man, we went from that Friday set. Like, I knew that. I knew it was going to super packs or a board set, and good to God, this set is boring. Handles for days, challenger, off ball pass, pick dodger, interceptor, immovable, ankle assassin, on ball menace. Paul Westfall, we gotta just use him, but we gotta, we gotta see what he's about. What badge is he missing? He was a high flying defender, missing paint prodigy. Ogos, so he probably gonna go limitless. No limitless on the card. As well as well, all right. Well, Reed's the only one I have seen. Sydney Wicks, I think he has a good release. I could be wrong, but I think he does. He has a 55 three pointer. Oh, God. Never mind. <laughs> what are we doing with this drop, 2K? Do I see a 55 three pointer? 
90 driving done. Ace the ball handling. Great defense. Overall, 89 speed. Well, his defense better be lit. Seven Hall of Fame badges. Post threat, post lockdown, pogo stick, rebound chaser, layup. You don't even have to choose defense like that. Rise up, unpluckable, off ball pass, strong handles. Like, he, does he not come a challenger? He doesn't come a challenger. Doesn't come a glove. Doesn't come an interceptor. This card just sucks. I mean, I, I just completely. Jack Marin. Finally, I think we got someone good. 91 three pointer, 80 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 65 block, 84 steal, 90 perimeter, 88 interior, 90 speed, 88 speed with ball, hustle ain't bad. Limitless, dead eye, layup, mixer, bailout, challenger, immovable, set shot, shooter, on ball, menace, rebound, chaser, bad, just rise up. I mean, Jack Martin's good. I've watched JC's video on him before, but. He needs high flying defender. He probably could use brick wall just as an extra, but he's basically badge good. He's a decent card. The only decent card I've seen from this drop. Like, he's decent. He's not like, oh, top end shooting guard. He's just decent. Pete Maravich. Why is Pete Maravich the lowest overall in this set? It makes no sense. But whatever. 93 pointer, 92 mid range, 50 driving dunk, 95 ball handling. 80 perimeter defense, 58 interior, speed ball, only at 86. This card sucks. Like, what the freak is this drop? I know it has to be boring, but oh my god, it's awful. Like, it is actually awful. Like, awful. Like, I mean, it's just, it's just, it's just terrible. I'm not really seeing nothing with this drop. I'm not seeing anything like, oh my god, this drop blows you off the water. Like, the drop is so dull, so boring, that it's just, I mean, Artist Gilmore is going to have that nice, solid player model. But, like, like like I said, like, Artist Gilmore player model is a Macklin. Don't, don't get it twisted. That's why I'm saying he might be able to bang freeze. And someone said, I always, don't, I always be shooting on rookie, so, all-star. Okay, I always be shooting on rookie, but... I mean, I mean, Artist Gilmore might be able to bang out. I won't say he won't, because in this game, it makes it makes no it makes no sense. Artist Gilmore does, but he has a big player model, so you know it's just it's just like 65. He had some better stats. He'd be some QB good, but the fact is, the matter is, he's not gonna be that great personally. So that's my review of the cards. Let me know in the comments section. Do you agree? Do you like this set? I, I don't know why you would, but. I don't know why you would. I mean, Paul Westfall can't move. Jump shots are right. Like, it's not the greatest shot in the world. But it's not, like, the worst in the world. I'm not seeing it at all with this car. can barely move. Like, what is this drop? Like, what? what is this over? I don't know what the drop is. This drop is so mediocre. This drop is so mediocre. So mediocre. And does Sidney Wits have anything going for him? I mean, he has, I mean, he has a 55 free. His shot's not even impressive. Like, no. Like, this set is awful. Like, man. This set is awful. Like, uh, like 2K must not want to make any money today. What's good, they don't need no money. So, like, I know, honestly, you know, if y'all don't want to make money today, I mean, good riddance. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to flex on you. Bro, I be hyped about the Jack. Jack Martin's release release ain't even that good. It's like all right, like he's still gonna be solid, but that release ain't even solid. Like Jack Martin's the best card, and he has a mid release. Like, like uh, I'm just, I'm sorry, this set just doesn't. I don't find any of these cards worth getting personally. And it's not even budget cards in this set, at the minimum for how bad it is. It's just horrible all around. But yeah, Willis Reed, I, I, I'm not going to shoot around, but he has a good shot. Willis Reed is the only card in the set. Once badge is a decent card. Jack Marnes is just good. Just goodish. And the rest of them suck. But I'm going to see y'all in the Rex My Team video. And give me a 